Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, let's talk about Madame Tussauds, the world-renowned wax museum that immortalizes the most iconic figures in history. In an unprecedented move, Madame Tussauds has decided to kick out the wax figures of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from their place of honor among the British royal family. Yes, you heard it right. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are no longer rubbing shoulders with the likes of Queen Elizabeth and Prince William. Instead, they have found a new home, a home that reflects their true aspirations and alliances, Hollywood. Imagine walking into Madame Tussauds after a prolonged pandemic shutdown, eager to witness the regal wax figures only to discover that Harry and Meghan have been relocated to the awards party zone. It's a move that speaks volumes, a move that symbolizes the duo's shift from royal duties to Hollywood glamour. The museum has embraced this transition by giving the waxworks a refreshed look, adorned in outfits mirroring a viral photo taken just before the couple announced their departure from senior royal duties in March 2020. The question arises, why such a drastic move? Well, my friends, Madame Tussauds claims it is a celebration of Harry and Meghan's new roles as Netflix and Spotify producers. A celebration, you say? It's more like a coronation into the realm of celebrity elites, where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex find themselves in the company of Hollywood's creme de la creme. Priyanka Chopra Jonas, Victoria, and David Beckham, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Dwayne Johnson, Nicole Kidman, and more. The decision to relegate Harry and Meghan to the glitzy world of Hollywood is not just a mere relocation of wax figures. It's a symbolic act that mirrors the couple's real-life detachment from the royal family. It's a narrative that shouts, we've moved on, and so should you. But the irony is glaring. Despite leaving behind the royal court, the couple clings to the royal names, basking in the glory of their past. Let's dissect the significance of this move. Madame Tussauds London's general manager, Tim Waters, remarked, Glitz and glamour are making a welcome return and Madame Tussauds London just became the hottest spot in the city. Glitz and glamour indeed. It seems the museum is more interested in catering to the whims of Hollywood than preserving the historical representation of the British royal family. The relocation of Harry and Meghan's wax figures is not just about physical placement. It's about endorsing their reinvention as A-list favorites on the global stage. Waters goes on to emphasize the thought put into the design of the awards party zone, promising guests a VIP experience, a star-studded evening where they are the night's big winner. But let's not be fooled by the glamorous facade. What Madame Tussauds is really offering is a front-row seat to the grand spectacle of Harry and Meghan's departure from tradition, their abandonment of duty, and their shameless leap into the world of fame and fortune. The timing of this move, as the museum reopens after a prolonged shutdown, cannot be ignored. It's as if Madame Tussauds is capitalizing on the couple's controversial journey, turning their wax figures into a star attraction for a public hungry for scandal and sensation. And why not? It's a genius marketing move, aligning the museum with the pop culture phenomenon that is Harry and Meghan. But should we, as a society, endorse such a shift in values? Should we celebrate the transformation of wax figures that once represented a historical institution into mere symbols of celebrity aspirations? The relocation of Harry and Meghan's wax figures is not just a playful gesture by a wax museum. It's a statement, a reflection of the shifting dynamics in our perception of fame and royalty. It raises questions about the blurred lines between tradition and modernity, duty and personal ambition, loyalty and self-promotion. In conclusion, my friends, as we witness the final nail in what some may call the evil Megxit's royal journey, let us not forget the weight of symbolism in Madame Tussauds' decision. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex may have left the royal family, but their wax counterparts will forever stand as a testament to a departure that goes beyond physical borders. It's a departure from tradition, a departure from duty, and a departure from the very essence of what it means to be a royal. And as their wax figures find a new home among the Hollywood elite, we are left to ponder the cost of chasing stardom at the expense of legacy. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. 
As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.